Hello and welcome back everybody to another 10 Shadow video. Today we are on lesson 11 in this FS Academy IFR series. Today we're going to learn a little bit about circling IFR approaches. Um, I've never done one of these before, so it looks pretty fun, so let's give it a go. another type of IFR approach which combines both instrument and visual elements. Nearby terrain or airspace issues can prevent a full instrument approach to one of an airport's runways. In this case we can still land on that runway by performing a circling approach. We're going to land at Pisa Airfield which has an ILS approach to runway 04 right but not for the reciprocal 22 left. We start by flying an instrument approach, the ILS Zulu for 04 right for today's flight, configure the aircraft for the approach with gear and flap, then level off at our circling minima. Once leveled off and with the airport in sight, we enter a visual circuit. We level off and make a 45 degree turn to the right, which we maintain for 30 seconds. Then we turn downwind and fly parallel to the runway. Once we're alongside the piano keys of the landing runway, runway 22 left, we start a timer and continue downwind for the time we calculate before turning finals and landing. Continue straight ahead for now at 2,100 feet and intercept the ILS approach to runway 04 right. All right, folks, this is the first time I believe in this series that I actually had the autopilot turned on for me by the... Uh instructor uh the only issue is um he has you set at 10,000 feet in your altitude so if you're not paying attention you kind of will just bust that and what i've done is um i tried to hurry up and set it to 2100 and that's what i was doing trying to get it all caught up but i just thought that it was kind of interesting so just uh, watch out for that if you're getting fly this one because that um it'll throw you off so it looks like that's our runway over there. And I don't really under, I don't know the approach speeds for these, this aircraft or anything like that. Um, I mean, yeah, I should have looked it up, but I kind of wish that this kind of information was in the manual to have, you know, since they do switch you to different aircraft, um, it'd be good good to know some of these things. Cause I, I, I don't have, I have no clue. I have no clue what's the good landing uh, approach speed and anything is in this aircraft, so. It's a nice looking day. Mm, no movement yet. Here we go. We're approaching the center line to make a left turn to intercept the ILS runway 04 right. Okay, we're a little bit to the right. Glide slope is good at the moment. Let's start taking her down. I believe our altitude is 760 feet. Okay, there we go. Localizer's looking good. A lot better. Glide slope still looks good. Uh, 
Now we're established on the ILS04 right, we look at the chart to find our circling minima at 760 feet. We must not descend any lower than this until we make our final turn to land. When we level off, we'll make a 45 degree turn to the right for 30 seconds once wings level. That'll be a heading of 080. Configure the aircraft now with the gear down and the first stage of flap. Really? I mean, I've got to fly a circuit that seems kind of, um, kind of early to do this. Hmm. I mean, I am within the white, white tape, so I can do uh, flaps. So we'll do flap. We'll do flaps one. We'll follow We'll listen to the instructor. Gear down. about 100 feet to go to our level off here and remain above 760 feet until the final turn okay turn right now to a heading of 080 for 30 seconds once wings are level 080 no, no, no. come on okay 080 Get some more power. Right, trim this up. Took a quick glance at the time. So probably around 1757. That's 30 seconds elapsed, so turn left onto heading 035 to fly parallel to the runway. Okay. Zero three five, he said. Oh, don't want to go too high. Okay. Now that we're flying parallel to the runway, we can calculate our time. We use three seconds per 100 feet above airfield level. So we're at 900 feet. Visa is effectively at sea level. And as we're flying at or above 760 feet, we can round up to 800 feet above the runway elevation. Three seconds for 800 feet gives 24 seconds. Once we're alongside the piano keys for runway 22 left, we'll start timing. Piano keys, there they are. All right, so we say we're at, we're about 27 seconds. And we we've know already that their times are not that accurate. Close. But not accurate. I just not really sure if I should put my gear down that early. I mean, maybe that's normal for these type of approaches. We're now alongside runway 22 left, so yep. start timing for 24 seconds. So about 10 seconds after, give or take. Trying to keep everything. Oh, starting to go That's off 24 course. seconds elapsed, so initially maintain altitude and make a level left hand turn towards the runway. Begin descending okay. around halfway around your turn, or as appropriate, to get two red and two white pappies. Take the last stage of flap once you see fit. Trying to get. I've got to work on my turns because that's some of the issues I've been noticing. Let's see. Oh, yay, the sun's in my eyes. Can't even, s there's the run. Okay, I can see the pappies, they're all white right now. Now right. visually judge your descent and turn. Start Continue and land on runway turning. two left. I'll start descending just a little bit. Uh, yeah, it's still too high, so I need to start descending more. Pull back on the throttle and we'll give it a uh, full flaps. Okay, let's 
is going to be a weird one. My first landing in this aircraft. All right, so we're high. Well, thankfully we got a long runway. All right, I have no idea what the landing Call speed is in this. Call to land runway 22 left, wind 270 at four. Okay, try to line up visually to the center line. All right, now we're too low. Oh, where's the barf bag? All right, too low. More power. Let's raise our head here just a bit. All right, we got one. I think we're too far to the... All right, there we go. And now we're too high. Crap. Okay, way too high. But we're all right. We got plenty of runway. All right, not going to hit center line. Oh, that's a horrible flare. Oh, weird. Oh, man. Horrible. Horrible. That completes the lesson oh. on circling approaches. Up next is your IR check ride. Feel free to repeat any of the lessons so far, or if you think you're ready, move forward and complete your check. Well, all right, everybody, that will do it for another one. First time doing a circling approach in any sim. I don't think I did too bad on the turns and everything. It's just uh, the lineup for landing, a little, little different. Haven't, have never landed this plane before, and um, just, just didn't come in smooth. But we got down. I don't think I'm gonna have to talk to my insurance company or anything. So I think that's good. So, but anyways, you heard our instructor. The check ride is next. I'm nervous. I looked it over. It looks like a lot of stuff compared to the VFR check ride. So. I'm not sure on this one. Pass or fail, I'll put the video up. I'm not going to redo it. It's either pass or fail. So, all right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you for the check ride.